and welcome back to Applied Griffins and today we are looking at a game called Interstellar Rift. A lot of you might have seen this already. Um, it is uh, it's one of these indie games. I believe it's an alpha right now and it's actually pretty cool. Uh, if you watch Epictetus' channel you would have seen um, some videos about this already. Um, I obviously, I watched the same videos and I kind of started messing with this thing a little bit and uh, kind of enjoy the the ship building. Uh, those are traders, I think. Yeah, anyways. So as you can tell, all of this, everything you see here uh, in uh, can actually be, you can build all of this. Uh, I mean, these are pieces that you can place, like this is a transporter and, and so on. And um, so I, I figured I would, uh, I would kind of just share a little bit of my experience um, um, using this thing it's not a tutorial by any means uh, it's just something kind of fun and um, so I guess we can start out in the in the design to me this is one of the aspects of the game that I that I quite enjoy uh, seeing as uh, you know you can build you know things so you have this I'm gonna get rid of this because it just tells you that you need a teleporter and you need life support which uh, I know Oh, geez. See, that's one thing as well. Like, yeah, talk about, yeah, okay, so, you know, there are, it's it's early access, whatever, so you click there and it, it just added these two blocks in here, which I didn't need. But anyway, so left click. So left click will give you, you can do something like this, will give you um, a, um, basically a floor, if you will, floor space, floor area, and you can make it larger if you want, uh, etc. You can extend it out that way. You can do multiples and the whole deal. Right click will actually remove. So I could actually do it like this where, you know, have these uh, spaces in there that are not being used. And um, that's the, 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 you know, it's creating a, a room. This is a room right here. And I, it's, I can change this and call it like the bridge, for instance. Um, so you're going to be building um, these different rooms that are connected through doors, obviously and um and then put all the bits and pieces in there that you need now obviously you could make a single room that has everything in it but as you get to larger ships obviously it becomes more practical to make multiple um you know uh, rooms now <clears throat> to get to let's kind of go around the screen here and kind of run through what what some of these pieces are up here it tells you it's this to do this will cost me 904 iron you'll get used to it eventually these the light, um, what the light white uh, uh, little ingot looking things. This is iron. There's another one which is kind of yellowish or I don't know, not orange, whatever bronze. There's uh, silicone. There's steel, which is like a dark color of this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So all of those different types of things you need. Uh, that's the current mass of the ship. That's how much armor it has. How much shield power it has. This is the maximum speed right now, zero, obviously, because I have no engines. Excuse me. Uh, max turn rate. We need to put um, basically um, uh, reaction thrusters uh, you know, onto this thing to give it a certain um, turn radius, turn rate, I, sh I should say. Um, and then um, how much power this thing uh, requires per tick, per time. I don't know what a tick is. It's probably not a second, but whatever that is. Um, if fully loaded, this is how much um, you would need. This is your list of uh, rooms that you have. Over here are the different modes. You have the interior edit mode. You have this prop edit mode. I'll show you all of these in a minute. Exterior, uh, power, and uh, device. And so if I click on exterior, I can also press F3. It's kind of a useful shortcut. Uh, you can see right now I'm, I'm holding down my middle mouse button. You can also hold down the Alt key and it'll allow you to, to uh, rotate. And then WASD will allow you to move forward and back, up and down. And then page up, page down. Uh, takes you a, a floor up and down every time. As you can see, there's a bunch of exterior items here you can use. There's colors here. Uh, there's the lighting mode, which is L. We'll get to that later as well. You can reset to center and you can go up and down. This is the page up, page down again. And that's the like the main, you know, what these items on the screen is. So now I can press F1. I get to this view. I'm going to just quickly build a, a, a simple little uh, little ship here. Now, as you can tell, I have built my um, 
my ship to be an uneven amount, obviously, so I would typically then place one of these uh, one by one um, cockpits. So you have this little one here, you have this one looks more like a fighter cockpit. And if you place it, you can actually zoom in a little bit and you can kind of see, you know, that's what it looks like. Sorry, there you go. And, you know, you can walk up these stairs and you'll go there and uh, you've got the two, two pilot seats. Uh, if I look at uh, this one here, much more a smaller one, you can see it's the same kind of idea. Um, again, uh, you know, you just walk in there and you have your two seats. And then obviously you also have uh, the two larger ones, which is either this one right here. Let's try to put them together. And this one over here, which is like this. It's like this. So both of them are too wide. That one is two by two, as you can tell. And if you look at them again, you'll see again this one, you know, it has a bit more view. And you can kind of look down the sides there, which kind of gives you an interesting, uh, different view, I suppose. And this one is a larger, again, larger type looking thing that kind of goes out. So for the cases for the, geez, once again, I didn't want to do that. You right click on something, so you just point at it and right click and it'll remove it. I'm just going to use the simple little little cockpit like that one. And it just gives me a nice you know, little uh, cockpit. Now on the checklist here, uh, you will see that it tells you stuff like you need a teleporter, you need life support, and need room ventilation. So these are think okay, so there's still some things in this game that just still drive me nuts, but oh well. So um obviously I can change the shape of this thing. I'll show you the exterior uh in a little while. You can tweak with that, you can add stuff like solar panels and all that kind of things. But to to do for the basic uh things what you need. So if I'm in this interior edit mode and I click on systems, um, I need one of these guys, so it's a life support system and you can place this, this one you can place uh, pretty much anywhere, it's not a big deal uh, actually I think you might have to place it against a wall, I'm not sure but for now let's dump it over there, I'm not really going to build this ship very efficiently, just want to show you and you can tell that you've got like a little screen there and you've got a, a left, so oxygen goes in and carbon comes out the other side, I'll show you this uh, when I, I'll spawn the ship in and I'm done, I'm just going to show you now, you have different types of fans. Uh, these are these are basically how air gets into the the vessel this, or the ship. You have it looks like two different seating type fans. You have a floor fan. So if I want to put it over there, I get like a, a thing on the floor that way, or I could go and I could like plop it against the wall like that. Maybe it all depends on kind of what um, what look you're going for. But what this means is that now my my little ship that I have here actually will get will receive oxygen. That's obviously overkill. I don't need I don't need three of those. But I'm just kind of showing it off a little bit. Uh, for a small ship like this, um, I'm not going to need like some of these. Like here's a, a a power cell, large power cell. There's some um, wall terminals. I'll show you the, the different varieties of this. There's turrets for shooting, etc. There's engines. There's these this disposal unit which allows you to put drones out into the into space. And then salvager allows you to salvage both drones and um, uh, there's recyclable materials and stuff. <clears throat> and then there's three different types of missile launchers, which allows you obviously to fire missiles out. And then there's this strip miner thing, which, uh, well, um, it's ludicrously large. I mean, this you build an entire ship around this thing. So you, when you start the game, you're not even going to be looking at, at, at that thing as, a, as an option. Um, the prop edit mode, now we're getting to these little things like I said before, it's like stuff like this thing, and you can use your cursors here, that'll allow you to move it around. Um, you can also move your mouse uh, in different directions, and it'll it'll flip it around. So there you have the, uh, these are terminals, allows you to look at settings from your ship and change things and so on. Um, we have a teleporter, which we're going to need. I'll just stick one over here now. Another thing you can see there, um, uh, right over here, you can see there's a little screen. I can like, point it that way, for instance, I put my teleporter in, so I'll be able to teleport into my ship. Um, I'm going to obviously need power. And to do that, I'm going to first of all need a, um, a hydrogen tank. Now, the only, well, I mean, typically, I, I, I end up typically putting in multiple just because I like to, but you don't need to. Um, the hydrogen tank, um, you have to fill that with hydrogen, obviously. 
um, and uh, it's just uh, that's how quickly it'll deplete so if you have too many of them when you take damage these things can eventually leak and you could lose all your hydrogen really quickly but for now we'll just we'll just put one of those guys down there uh, you have these this is a like a really big hydrogen uh, power generator which is way too large for this ship but then you have this little one here which is the small you know the, the little sim simple one you could yeah oh that's nothing by the way you could actually technically if that kind of looked like something you wanted to do you could technically do this oops sorry you could technically do that you could actually place them kind of in inside each other let me try like that uh, which kind of looks weird but it would actually work so you are you are able to do that but for again for the purposes of this I will just put in let's say we'll put um, no, put, let's just okay. Let's just for OCD sake, I'll do that, and I'll put in two tanks. Where I don't really need two tanks, but that's fine. So that'll give me power. Uh, you can see that um, if I go to this display over here, which is the power. Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, this one. Uh, it'll tell me that I'm generating. I can generate 300 power per tick. I have a capacity, peak consumption, and so on. We'll come back to that later. So that gives me shields, I mean, uh, sorry, um, a teleporter so I can get on, onto and off the ship. Otherwise, you cannot trans, there's no, like, you can't, like, exit. You can, uh, in this game currently, you cannot exit into space as a as a person. You have to be on a ship. So the only way to get between things is with the teleporter. Uh, I have life support. I have a way to access my ship systems, which you can also do from your, uh, your wrist little computer that you have. But obviously, this is a bit more convenient. I have a way to store hydrogen. I have a way to make power and I have a way to receive air way too much of it but that's fine um, next thing I'm gonna need is so this power cells power cells are like uh, let's just call them capacitors and you can place them like this you can use them like the cursor keys left and right and you can actually place like there I can place four of them and the reason I'm placing them uh, like this is because I'd like to be able to get to each and every one of them uh, so that I can repair them in case I take damage. And then there's these things which are batteries, and I'll just place four of these for, for now. And I typically, you don't, I mean, you'll have, you'll hear different people say different things, but um, for as far as the um, batteries, how many batteries to, to um, power cells? Uh, power cells uh, are, like I said, are like capacitors. They have unlimited, um, uh, so they have a capacity of 10,000, but they can uh, release energy uh, at an indefinite, I mean, that it's just unlimited. Uh, it's just Im immediate bursts of energy. Whereas these guys uh, can generate uh, 300 per tick, but have a huge capacity, as you can see there, 1,500. And they, to, to charge, obviously, they'll be using 1,000 per tick. So you got to keep all of that into, into um, your calculations and how you want to do your ship and so on. Now, so right now, I have a ship with all of the interior systems mostly that I need I suppose uh, I would still need uh, really because you have asteroids and stuff that'll hit you and so on so I would like to put in uh, like a little um, a shield generator and so this one will do where is it um, right there it'll do oh, actually it doesn't even tell you uh, oh there you go uh, it provides up to 600 shield hit points and uh, requires a constant power source 150 uh, per tick that's if it's fully fully charged I mean if it's if it's uh, at full capacity now these guys can chew up your your batteries and so on very quickly so that's something to keep in mind now once again I can look um, I just wanna actually I don't wanna put it in the way of that thing and just put it over here so maybe I'll put the you can see there's like a little computer screen right there I'm gonna put that so that's right over there put it facing out just so yeah so it's there now there's a lot of other things here. There's like a large hydrogen tank. There's ship editor. There's this extractor which helps you mine. There's a refinery that helps you refine stuff. Cargo teleporter. Uh, that big teleporter that you saw in the station. Uh, now this uh, molecular assembler basically allows you to uh, spawn on the ship if you die. And so that's probably a good thing to have in there as well. And then um, let's see what else. Oh, okay. engineering terminal might also be another useful little item to add this one allows you to configure power and stuff now granted I'm, I'm putting in stuff in here that you, you probably don't need all of this stuff but kind of would like to show you a little bit of each um, type thing this guy here is a, a cyber warfare suit uh, this helps you to attack to hack into other ships and stations it also helps you to um, 
basically defend yourself against being hacked and so on. Now there's other things like 3D printers and data cores and ML loaders and stuff. And I'm not going to get into all of these right now. There's a, a transponder, which I can show you that quickly. I'm going to put that over there. Uh, whatever. There you go. Um, and then uh, let me see what else. Uh, there's these, a lot of these things also are to do with, well, the hello, hello table. Um, I mean, I suppose I can show you that guy. Um, and then there's like nuclear reactors and so on and actors. And these things you'll get into uh, later when it's a little bit more advanced. Now, I think that gives you kind of the base for the for the inside of the ship. Now, on the outside, uh, I, I showed you in the um, both the well, actually in the interior edit mode, I showed you some large engines. And actually, just maybe just to give you an idea what I mean by large, uh, that's the that's the small one. OK, and which obviously would be completely overkill for this thing. And then that's the, I can't even zoom out, could I zoom out. This one would be bigger than my entire ship. I mean, it's 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 huge. Uh, these are for really large ships. However, if you go to the um, exterior mode, uh, right now I've only got one layer, so it's, I don't really have that much to play around with. But if I go to the engines, uh, you do have these different um, types of of engines, a class one, class two, and class three uh, ion engines. And you can see they take different resources. They weigh more or less, etc., etc., and they drain. You know that one is one. This one's two. This one is three. So for now, I'm just going to go and um, plop, plop, if I can. What? What? Why is it? Oh, what's it doing? Come on. Normally it'll. There you go. It'll put itself in the right place. So I can do like that. Oh wait. So you know, right click will remove it. So let's say I've got that. I can go up here now and tells me my maximum speed is 129. So let's say maybe I want a little bit more. There you go. Okay, so I've got three engines. I'm going to get a maximum speed of 192. Uh, this is normal non-warp speed. And I have I can't turn right now because I have no uh, none of these little maneuvering guys. So for these guys, you will just place them wherever. I normally like to... They don't. The direction is irrelevant, but I just like to place them somewhere at a local, and that gives me a turn rate of 0.77, which is okay. I normally like to be between 0.7 and 0.9-ish, especially if there's something lots of cargo. Um, when in terms of exterior, uh, you get a lot of these different types of shapes uh, that you can use. So, like right now, I can grab this guy, which is this. Um, Trying to get this angle the right way. Again, like I'm just moving my mouse left, right, up, left, right, up, and down. And I'm having a hard time. There we go. Always on video. Um, and then I can do something like that, you know, and then maybe take this guy here and uh, put him in like that. And you see, you see where I'm getting at. You can kind of go and make it, you know, look a little bit more interesting, you know, do something like that like that and then in the corner there maybe you go and add this little guy into there and you can see there I can get you know I can get it to look uh, a bit more respectable obviously I could also go and do something like this where I can actually you know paint this thing and you can on the outside for some reason they didn't have a mode to like they don't have a mode to just like paint everything you gotta go and do this like by hand like I'm doing right now which I'll be honest, I, I don't completely understand. Um, I mean, I should be able to do like in, like in Space Engineers where I just do like a, you know, shift control click or something and like, oh, there my whole ship is this color now. But whatever, the point is, I'm just kind of showing you you can do this. It looks cool. You know, you can change colors. Also in exterior mode, something else that's important. Well, obviously there's guns. I mean, I can place these little, I don't have a ammo loader in right now, so I'm just going to show you this just for purposes of showing it I suppose but I can go and place these little guys um, and just flip them around and I can maybe flip it uh, I don't know I there is I'm sure there is an actual science behind this but I for some reason always have a hard time getting this thing to go exactly where I want it no nope, that's not what I want I want it to be there 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 we go well and of course now it places it but, I mean I can go and do that for instance and give it some guns and I give it turrets and all that kind of stuff and then I can go and paint it, you know, like that, whatever. Whoop, there you go. So I've got now some guns, which I can't load, so I don't have any ammo loaders, but that's fine. Uh, but what I wanted to show you as well uh, was the 
under the power there's stuff like this you can put in sensors and stuff which will give you the ability to um, to detect um, asteroids and so on and these are the small ones and their the ranges will will depend uh, will vary uh, but then there's also these things which are solar panels and you can put these um, also by the way um, the cursor keys will also give you you can see them flipping around in this way so the cursor keys also give you the ability to move around uh, but this thing here you can see I you know, I can just do like this oops and I can uh, fill in you know a bunch of solar panels like that I'm just going to put a, one layer on the top here just so I have so what this does is it doesn't provide a huge amount of power actually it doesn't even yeah it just provides a small amount of power it doesn't even tell you how much but what it does is when I jump to the ship the first time I will have no hydrogen and I won't have uh, you know so I, I, I have no way to power the ship um, I need hydrogen, obviously, but um, these will power the uh, the doors. And they'll, well, I don't even have any doors, but you get my point. It'll p power doors and like teleporter and and things like that. So that they are obviously quite useful and necessary. Even on a big ship, you'll have a lot of these uh, to power all the auxiliary systems and stuff, so you don't have to constantly worry about that. So, oops, wrong one. And now page up. So now another thing is um, there's these uh, color schemes. You can see you have a whole bunch of them predefined, different types of colors and so on. So let's say I want to pick that color. Now I can go and shift. I think it's shift. Yep, yeah, shift click. Will paint everything of that that variety with this color, and you can see that they're all changing uh, to be that color scheme. And you can pick different color schemes. Obviously, uh, there, I'm just picking this one right now. Just to be the fun of it and you can see everything interior kind of changed uh, there's another thing you can do which is kind of I, I kind of like this cool this is cool for me but uh, so you have these different um, wall uh, types that you can put in so I can for instance go and I can say I want to have this uh, wall thing here and you know I would just place these things into the walls and you get you know you get um, walls behind oh, okay I knew that was gonna happen because the um, um, oxygen generator takes up the entire space back there uh, you know it just takes it over so I'm going back to the systems and initially I admit it was frustrating for me because you couldn't find anything but you get kind of used to it so that gives you the uh, walls I'm going to finish all of them just kind of trying to show you some of the details and then here you've got other types of different types of floors floor for cargo server floor and you know you can kind of just do something like this you can go and you know, place in floors, and that'll you know give you floors and so on. So that's that. You know, what something else you're going to need a lot of. And seeing as my ship right now is only a single level, um, you can place these little cargo guys. You can see there they have two orientations. Now this one with the little, these little pegs or whatever sticking out. There's a little display over there that'll show you what's on the cargo panel. Now I'm going to need that because I'm going to put oxygen there. I'm going to put hydrogen for that. And like obviously right now this ship does not actually have very much cargo carrying capacity I mean good that's about it yeah, so that's not going to be a really uh, useful amount now the last thing is lighting as you can tell whoa everything is quite dark if I go back to the uh, interior edit mode and I go back to my uh, lighting here you'll see there's different types of um, lights uh, ceiling lights and floor and wall lights and so on I'm just gonna take a bunch of um, uh, uh, server ceiling lights I'm just gonna put them in there just kind of randomly well not randomly I'm kind of I'm just doing kind of a grid uh, pattern here um, just to kind of give it a bit of light one is not really gonna help because it's above that because uh, otherwise you get too much light which also can happen and then I can go back to the regular ceiling and I could fill in the rest of it that hopefully I'm gonna remember where now this is one thing which I'll be honest, um, I I don't quite like um, because it's it's well I find it difficult. Um, maybe it's just me, but I mean you got to remember you know where you place things and whatever, and then you can you can kind of do something like this when you go I think down a view. Oh jeez, I can't even. Nope, I can't even get it to work now. Um, 
yeah, I think you need another floor to actually see what to actually be able to see your ceiling while you're in the editor. But there you can see the light um, lighting mode. So I think um, hmm, is this ship going to have everything it needs? So let's have a look. So we got we got a good speed. Uh, we have a good t well, my turn rate just went down because I've added um, more. Um, I've added some more stuff into the interior, which is, you know, obviously slowed the, made the ship, it's going to respond uh, slower. So let me just, just add uh, a couple more of these guys. You see, 0 0.8, yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about the look right now. So normally I would want to make sure everything looks kind of, kind of neat and everything. Um, what else do I need? Let me see. So that's uh, how much power I'm going to need. Um, I can look at uh, the uh, power mode now. See, I'm generating uh, 15, about 1,500 per tick. I can store 6 million. That's, that's those insane batteries. Uh, my peak consumption is going to be 1,600, which is higher than what I can generate. And um, the drain um, is, is 4,000 per, per tick. So, yeah, if I have everything turned on right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out of power really quickly. Um, and uh, you can see here that it's it's these are these groups and so on. You can you can edit those, um, like you could go here and you can say uh, life support or something. And I could uh, I think I can just how do I do this? There you go. So is that part of that's part of life support now. There you go. So I could for instance add all of these guys, put them on life support. I can then go and say well uh, maybe I want well. Maybe, important systems would be more more accurate I suppose um, I can go and make sure I have that guy on the life support group uh, I would like to fill up maybe a battery and a capacitor I'm just just randomly doing stuff here I don't know what else uh, what else would I need oh maybe life support would include air and how about an air vent so th uh, that would tell me so that's that group this group it says I'm j um, Generating 303 per tick with the, with the solar alone, which is kind of cool. And how much capacity I have and consumption and so on. Actually consuming more than I need, uh, more than I've got. So maybe I should just go and you know add a few more of these things. Um, there you go. Yeah, it didn't make much difference. Okay, so that's kind of that. Now just to be, well, how about we take this thing for a whirl and we go and have a look and see. So now I can go and um, I click on this save blueprint I can give it a, a name here um, it's called Fred why not okay get out of here now I'm in creative mode right now so I can just go to build and you will see up here oh I'm gonna get I'm gonna pick Fred first oh, but, really oh it doesn't tell me because I'm in creative mode really okay fine and ship constructed and I'm confused where I'm at. Okay. I can run over here quickly. And I go there. Teleport over. So this is the ship. Now you can see what the ceiling looks like. You can see I didn't put those panels everywhere, but that's how you would make it look nice. Oh, and I didn't get any hydrogen, but you'd have to fill in this with hydrogen. I could put in cargo here. Um, typically, I would uh, reduce the amount of uh, shield power. Was this thing, like I said, just choose through power really quickly. Uh, there's my maintenance, my uh, packing things. Uh, hello, hello table. You can see right now that obviously that is these things are barely charged. Um, that's my little hydrogen generator going. That's my beacon. And uh, oxygen support uh, for, for um, life support. And then if I go in here and hop in the, in the seat, I can press Z, which will show me the outside view. And you've, you've seen this already, but um, I think if I hold down the right mouse button, I can kind of turn around and you can kind of see the ship and, uh, and so on. Let me get out of here. Press escape to get out. So that's that's really a quick um, 
little show how to how to build things, how to put things together. You can also oh you can see here. So remember I allocated this guy and I think I did this one. Yeah, I think I might have done this one. Um, so this guy is was charged really quickly. As you know, their capacity is a lot less, but that's coming from the solar panels. Which means that when I want to now use this thing, which is actually placed pretty bad badly, but I, I wasn't too concerned about that. You can see it's immediately available to teleport because I I have some energy um, available to to be used. So um, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, there's still a lot that can be. Uh, oh, there's the ship. Uh, there's still a lot that can be can be done. Obviously, showing you how to go uh, to, to get to warp and do all of that stuff. There's the whole mining aspect of the game. Uh, there's there's a lot of a um, lot of good things in this game. Um, I um, I'm busy currently building a, a large um, a large ship. Uh, which I could also do maybe do an episode on so you know if you guys if you like if you'd like to see more about uh, Interstellar Rift let me know um, you know like uh, subscribe all the usual and uh, as always thanks for watching